If you've been looking for a Raspberry Pi alternative that can actually bitstream True HD, DTS Master Audio, even Atmos, then uh, this is the product for you. So this is the device I'm talking about. It's sold on Amazon for thirty-five dollars. It's um, it's also it's known as the. You can search for get to it by saying "let le potato" or writing "amls s nine zero five x," but if you just write left potato you'll 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 find it um, this is it it's the same uh, configuration as a raspberry pi so cases for the raspberry pi can work i recommend i had to buy a, a specific case to get it to work because the yes the ports are the same but the chip layout is different and some of the pins are different so if you buy any old case it's not going to work so you need to buy a case for the Raspberry Pi that's mostly open within the, the PCB itself. Uh, I can show you the one I bought. This case works 100%. It's the NOK case for Raspberry Pi or 3, and it works. I've, I've, I've bought two of these, and they work fine. So if you want a case for your Le Potato, then this is perfect, and it's only $7, and you can get it in three different colors. You're also going to need a micro SD power supply. This is one that's rated for a Raspberry, Raspberry Pi 3B, with 3B+, Plus, which should work fine. You can also probably just use one lying around the house, and if you run into power issues, then you might need to upgrade. But this one works fine. You also need a micro SD card, like card maybe you like one from these Samsung ones are pretty good you don't need a 256 gig one because you're probably not going to store much so I would just go with something like a, a 32 that would be just fine so now so now you need to go to this website it's corelec.org and you're going to scroll down Look for download. Let's choose stable. Skip that. I want to skip that and show me all the download options. And right now, I want you would want to download. This is the device I have. It's uh, affectionately called Le Potato. There's actually a uh, like in a real uh, um, num you know. Uh, item number for it which I'll probably post on the screen so download this image it's 189 megabytes it's the one that's ng.arm it says here that this is the it's using the newer 4.9 uh, Linux kernel I believe and I'm actually testing it out for the first time now so so download that and then I already downloaded it so I'm gonna Find the, you're going to need this program called Rufus. I'll show you to get that. Just Google Rufus. Actually, this site will tell you. If you go to install guide, just click on Rufus recommended, and it'll take you to the website to download it. And since I already have it, I'm going to go ahead and start installing. Uh, so let me find. So this is the image, it's in my downloads, it's the last thing I downloaded to open. And let me, uh, it already pre-selected drive S, which is my SD card. So I'm gonna hit start. It's warning you that all the data will be wiped, but it's already formatted anyway. So it's writing the image. And that's it. Now, all you have to do is insert the SD card. Well, actually, there's a f one more st one more thing that needs to be done. Okay, so now you need to navigate to the file system in, on your SD card, which is, for my case, it's this drive S, which is only 511 megabytes big. Double click on it and look for the device trees folder. And then you're gonna find the Le Potato 2 2G, well, not the 1G, 2G because it has two gigabytes of RAM. Um, and you're gonna copy this file to the root of the file system. So go back here, double click, and just throw this in here. 
and then we're just going to rename it dtb.image and it's going to ask you if you want to change the file name extension you say yes so in this case just get rid of the one that's here if there's already a DTB image file, just delete that one. And then you're going to rename and try this again. And there you go. Now you're going to want to, now you're ready to put the SD card into the device and uh, do your first boot. So I just plugged in the, the potato into my system and it's about to reboot and do all of its installation things that it needs to do. Here's some relaxing smooth jazz to make it, the time go a little faster. When you first uh, boot in for the first time you're going to get these pop-ups. Uh, it's going to ask you a few questions about language. English I selected. You can name it. I left it Corelex, which is a default. It's wired connection already. Um, I needed to double check that Samba S or SMB is selected, which is good if you're streaming videos from, from a network. You're going to need that. Okay, so I just um, finished installing Corelex. And I'm just going to kind of clean up all these main menu items a bit. I'll just go to interface, configure skin, main menu items, and I'm going to shut off uh, music videos, TV. I don't have a live TV thing set up here, radio. I don't know, it's going to say pictures. I don't do that. Videos stay, games, I don't load games, favorites, I usually don't use that, weather, I don't use that either. And then you uh, you can change the color. I usually kind of like this concrete. Or uh, Also, I apologize for the, uh, I just got this capture card and I didn't know the, the uh, audio, the uh, video quality would be so bad. Yeah, there we go. And I, and it looks a lot cleaner. You just got what you need. Now you just gotta go in and scan all your movies. And now I'm gonna give an overview of Corelex HDR tone mapping features and I'll show you where you can change your uh, audio pass-through settings, which is how you can bitstream audio, like TrueHD, Atmos, etc. So I'm going to go into system and then on the core like it says tone map HDR or to SDR I it says you can just leave it I just left it in auto and actually I haven't tested it too much but it looks pretty good um, and it also bitstream if you have it plugged into a uh, receiver you would see you know all the options for bit streaming. I actually filmed the device plugged into my receiver so you can see it here. It's a it's a great program. I mean it's just Cody and it's it's actually it's, it's one of the cheapest ways to one tone map uh, and also bitstream true HD even get Atmos through the, uh, using this. So again I hope this helps. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe.